Hi, it's James from Tech Tip. Do you have a data hoarding problem? Got hundreds of terabytes that you just can't let go? Well, you're not the problem. It's the computer's problem. I'm here today to show you how you can make more storage for you and your business. Maybe you're in the business of editing footage and you've got tons of hours. Maybe you've got security camera footage that you just can't seem to let go of. Maybe you're preparing for the inevitable Sherman antitrust lawsuit and you need to retain records. Either way, we can show you how to add hundreds of terabytes in capacity for you and your business that can be accessible to all of your systems at all times, even when you're off-site and even when you need to get it through the cloud. So the, what a NAS basically is, is it's a free alternative to Google Drive, and I think it might be the right fit for most small businesses. In fact, once you get a few computers linked together, uh, the NAS is the next logical step. And so what I can show you today is how to use an older workstation, an outdated PC, or even a modern workstation, and we can convert it into a shared repository for all of your systems to access simultaneously to either work collaboratively or work as a records retention system for data that you can't uh, hold reliably on your other systems. So one of the reasons you might want to do this is, uh, and not everybody does this, is that hard drives, the higher capacity they are, and the higher capacity you use on it, the less effective they are. You really don't ever want to be using a hard drive above 80% capacity. It'll wear it out quicker. Uh, you're more likely to have ad sectors, which means lost data, and you'll have slower access times. It'll slow down the entire PC when there isn't at least a good 20 or 30% overhead uh, for your PC to operate. Some functions won't even operate once, you once it's too full. Uh, certain things like file transfers can fail and it can take a long, long time to do things that shouldn't take a long time to do. You don't have to buy a specific network access storage system. Uh, they're fairly expensive online, uh, about the cost of a new high-end workstation uh, to control maybe four or eight drives. And while those solutions are uh, nice plug and play solutions, as I mean, as, as plug as play and as plug and play as they can get, there's still a lot of configuration to do with them. You don't have to go that route. Uh, anything with a processor, a hard drive, and basically any computer, any computer that can boot up uh, will work as long as it has a network attached. If it can boot up and it can connect to the internet, it'll work. This is great for uh, bringing a second life to your outdated workstations, especially if you update your workstations every three to five years. A system that, that, that is that old will be perfect for this. So if having a hundred or a thousand terabytes of just data that you're able to fill up uh, storage space, you never have to worry about it. It's ever expanding and you'll always be able to access it faster than you could ever access a Google Drive. And it's free with no monthly cost. Keep watching. Converting an old PC to a network attached storage is an economical way to preserve your data and it allows convenient access for your whole business and other workstations as well. By upgrading an older PC, you can add more drives at any time to increase the amount of storage. The only cost of increasing that storage is purchasing an additional hard drive, which are fairly inexpensive in today's market. It's easy to turn an old computer into a network attached uh, storage system. Any workstation will work as long as it powers on it's able to access a web page and it has an Ethernet port in the back that works. It can be a desktop or a laptop. A network attached storage can be connected to any network. All it has to do is be plugged into the router or switch the same way you would connect a workstation. It requires no additional equipment and the software for a network attached storage is free as well. One of the most appealing benefits of network attached storage is that you can create a more complex array of hard drives. You may have heard of RAID before, and I'll explain briefly what it is and how it works. What a RAID array is, is you'll have uh, two hard drives, four hard drives, eight hard drives. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as you have more than two, two or more, uh, and an even number, it'll work. So what the hard drives do is, I'll make a really simple example. We'll start with two hard drives. They'll mirror one another. So hard drive one and hard drive two will have all the same information on them. And that way, if hard drive one fails, hard drive two will still have all of your information uh, in, in check. And if hard drive two fails, hard drive one will still have all of your data. You'll immediately receive an alert telling you that your hard drive has failed and to replace it. The odds of both your hard drives failing on the exact same day at the exact same time before you're able to replace it is very low. One of the main issues with hard drives, and a lot of people don't know this, well, we know this at TechDip because we do data recovery, 
is when a hard drive fails, the data is often irrecoverable without special hardware and software. And it becomes more expensive to recover that data than to purchase a new hard drive. With a properly configured RAID array, you'll never have to deal with data recovery. You will, however, have to still replace the hard drive when it fails, but having a RAID array will not cause hard drives to be used at a faster rate. And overall, it is cheaper to have a RAID, a mirrored RAID array than it is to do data recovery. And data recovery doesn't always work. You can still permanently lose your data. You can use uh, regular hard disk drives or you can use solid state drives. There is no limit. There's also another kind of RAID in which half the data is put on drive one and half the data is put on drive two. And so when the data is requested as a whole, the data transfers twice as fast because both hard drives are able to read and write simultaneously. So you can actually make a configuration where you've got uh, all the hard drives and they're doubled and they're able to be used twice at, uh, at once, but you need at least four to do that. And so it doubles your access speed and it gives you data integrity by having a backup of both sides. Uh, so I mean, that is getting a little complicated, but uh, just know that it is faster and more protective to have multiple hard drives holding your data. So having a, a NAS on your local network is much more secure than having other cloud solutions hosted overseas uh, or in places where you don't have control. Uh, you're able to set permissions for people, uh, which is more complicated to do with cloud-based systems like Dropbox and Google Drive. It's just not as secure. One of the, a, a niche point might be if you have data that is private, somebody tries to go after your data, uh, Google might give it to them. Whereas if you control your own data, you would have the option of giving out your data when it's requested, either as part of a lawsuit or as part of a civil inquiry. Most network attached, attached storage systems are also able to directly stream uh, video and music. So if this is something uh, where you're trying to create an advanced home network, uh, something for like a home theater system, you can upload all of your Blu-rays to a network attached storage system and then access them from your smart TV using a service like Plex. Um, it's not really what we're talking about today. We're doing more business use, but if you need a home theater, uh, we can do that too. There's also native support for Dropbox and Google Drive in case you're trying to connect your NAS or mirror your NAS with one of those services. There's a lot of integrated support features uh, that allow direct uploading and downloading uh, and access through those services in a native way. Network attached storage is very low maintenance. All you have to do is keep a PC running. You don't turn it off, it just stays running and your access stays on. There's no need to update hardware or software except for the occasional critical security update uh, but other than for the operating system that you're using, but other than that, they're very low maintenance. So you may be asking, why are all these expensive systems available when anybody can use an older workstation? So I did want to go over some of the advantages of buying a purpose-built uh, NAS. So purpose-built NAS systems often have higher capacity than workstations. An old workstation might only have room for three or four hard drives, whereas a network-attached storage system can go up to 12, 16, 24, or even 48 hard drives on the full enterprise level. So if you're gonna need more than four hard drives, I would suggest going with a purpose-built network attached storage system. Additionally, a purpose-built network attached storage system is going to have more proprietary features such as data redundancy and uh, basically all the other features I talked about that are possible with a workstation network attached storage, but the proprietary ones will have a lot of that stuff built in or configured by default and you won't have to configure it yourself or we won't have to configure it for you. They tend to be easier to maintain and run than making your own uh, PC version of a network attached storage. Um, I would, just like anything else, it's easier to buy something from the store than it is to build it yourself in the garage. So typically when you get a network attached storage uh, purpose built from the store to be a network attached storage, it's going to have a few things that are beefed up for the specific purpose that it's built to do. One is that it'll be able to handle a lot of hard drives and it will be able to process data in and out of those hard drives and they'll be wired in a way that's efficient. It'll also have a beefed up local 
area network card, which is what drives the ethernet connection. So it'll be able to push more data faster to multiple users from those hard drives. Now, all of this, of course, is possible using a workstation setup. You would just have to purchase that hardware separately. At a certain point, it is also uh, more inexpensive. Uh, at a certain point, it is more inexpensive operational wise, meaning a lower cost per month to operate, because the only thing you're going to be paying for with an old workstation is the electrical cost. But if you're running a large amount of these systems, that cost is going to add up. So one of the features of a network attached storage that is purpose built is not only the performance, but it's also designed to be electrically efficient and to provide as much network attached storage and efficient delivery at a low, at a low electrical cost. So a lot of these systems will go into sleep mode when they're not in use and they'll have features like that so that when you leave your office for the night, it'll automatically go into a lower state until it is requested again. And all of this is passive. You won't notice it until you look at your electrical bill. So where you might say is the limit for when I want to switch from a workstation to a proprietary network attached storage system. And basically it depends on your need and the number of users. If you're just trying to hold backups for five or 10 users, a workstation is going to be fine if you purchase high capacity drives. Now, if you're doing video editing, especially 4K video editing, or you're dealing with uh, very confidential stuff, you're going to want to have a purpose-built NAS. One, because of the transfer speeds, and two, because of the redundancy. While you can get that same redundancy from a workstation, it's just really bad to be put in a position where, you know, maybe something gets fried, or there's an electrical surge, or, you know, something catastrophic happens, and you lose uh, access to that PC. Uh, for example, ransomware. A workstation could get ransomware, but a NAS array is, that's purpose-built is less likely because it doesn't run the same operating system like Windows or Apple. So hopefully this has helped you make a decision as to whether or not this type of upgrade is right for your business and whether or not you wanna go with the old PC route or the purpose-built network attached storage. So, the next video that I'm going to focus on is the making the decisions on the actual hardware and the software to run your own system. So if this sounds like something that you want to have done, but don't necessarily want to do, feel free to visit us at techdip.com and go to our business solutions page. And you can actually book a video chat with me personally, and we can find a good solution for your business. We can talk about remote support and we can talk about installation and uh, you know, book a consultation. Uh, the consultation is free uh, and the installation rates are very competitive. We're based in Southern California. And again, that is on techdep.com, T-E-K-D-E-P. And even if you don't wanna have an uh, install done by us, you can still have a consultation. We can select the hardware, we can select the software, we can ship it to you and we can provide instructions and remote support. Uh, what their remote support looks like is you plug it in and we remotely access the PC and set it up for you without you having to touch the mouse or the keyboard. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. It helps me as a digital creator know what you guys like and what you guys don't like. And if you want to see more content from us, uh, please subscribe. Uh, I appreciate it and it helps me out.